Cowabunga toy fans, D21 Beast Rob here, and as we open this review, you're taking a look at one of my favorite purchases of the year, the Mega Bloks Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Classic Party Wagon. This was an amazing set that I picked up earlier this year with some birthday money, and from the time that I put this together, I knew that I wanted to add some more classic TMNT Mega Block sets to my collection. Well, along comes Christmas 2016, and wouldn't you know it, I got some more spending money. The result? This fairly large Krang's Rampage set, also available from Mega Bloks, featuring the 80s versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. With some extra cash left over, I wanted to continue my collection. And thank you Toys R Us for selling the Rocksteady and Bebop character packs on clearance for 5 bucks each. Normally I would show you the back of the packaging, but it would just show you everything you're already looking at. So what are we waiting for, dudes? Let's get these sets fully assembled and see what they're all about. Alright, toy fans, here we have these Mega Bloks sets out of the packaging and fully assembled. I would have done a stop motion for you guys, but the Krang set took about an hour and a half to put together. You can see here the box contains several different bags in various sizes, and none of them were labeled. Fix that, please, Mega Bloks, because while that wasn't as tough of a build as the Turtle Van I did earlier this year, it was still a little bit frustrating to figure out where each piece I needed was as I went along. Meanwhile, the Bebop and Rocksteady sets were a bit simpler, though they did allow for some creativity and I would say putting both of those together took me probably about 30 minutes. But a little hard work paid off, and now you can see the fruits of my labor. I've even done a little bit of customizing already. But let's break things down a little bit, and start by taking a closer look at that Krang's Rampage set. The Krang's Rampage set comes with everything that you see here. You get a couple of 2-inch Heroes in a Half Shell minifigures, Leonardo and Raphael, and these are very similar to the single-carded version of these same characters from the classic line, except they have a darker skin tone. In fact, it's the same shade of green that we saw used on that Michelangelo minifigure that came packed with the party wagon earlier this year. Along with the darker shade of green, these exclusive turtle minifigures also come with a different colored shell on their back, brown as opposed to the single-carded releases, green. And I'm not sure if it's a packing error or not, but the Raphael that comes included with this Krang box set includes a pair of size that are not the same height. I'm assuming this is a mistake, as the single-carded version of this Raphael minifigure includes a pair of size that are the exact same dimensions as one another. Also included with this set is a Street Vendor's Pizza Oven. It has a set of doors that open and close, as well as a single slice of pizza and a pizza box. I find it a pretty fun inclusion for this set. You can pretend the turtles were enjoying a nice lunch in the park when Krang suddenly went ballistic. And let's talk about that Krang. Visually, he looks very similar to how he appeared in the classic Ninja Turtles cartoon show with the silver suspenders over his torso and some shoulder pads, as well as those trademark red feet, gloves, and trunks, and of course, a cavity in his abdomen to house a Krang minifigure. The Krang itself is almost identical to how he appeared on the classic cartoon. Megablox made no attempt to make a brick block version of this character. He's just a gummy pink plastic that slides in and out of his body. He could do for some paint applications on his eyes and his mouth, but other than that, he's exactly what I expected from a Krang minifigure. Articulation-wise, Krang's body is good, but it's kind of limited by the medium. He's got a head that'll look left and right, but is incapable of looking up or down the way you assemble him. He's got ball-jointed arms, which are nice, but then the elbows are just a single joint that bend back and forward. You can't really rotate the figure at the elbow, so you kind of have to give him gorilla arms almost, if you want to have his arms down at all. Uh, his hands are a soft rubbery plastic that do rotate left and right. He is capable of rotating at the waist left and right. He's got ball-jointed hips that move forward and backwards. Uh, ball-jointed knees, which are nice and then ball-jointed ankles as well. Height-wise, if we go all the way to the top of Krang's antenna, he does stand right at 9 inches. For some size comparison, here he is compared to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite series Wolverine. Your stomach is disgusting, Bob! Oh, I'm gorgeous! And then we move on to the Bebop and Rocksteady sewer display sets. These two sets are actually pretty similar to the single-carded classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets also available for Mega Bloks, in that they come with a base and a couple of pictures to hang up behind your turtle minifigure, or in this case, behind your Bebop, Rocksteady, and your army of foot soldiers. Rocksteady and Bebop each come with a blaster rifle accessory, as well as three foot soldiers to help you army build, and there's some assorted weapons thrown in so your foot soldiers can get ready for battle. Every minifigure in these two sets come with a sewer lid display stand, that you can then position in front of a diorama featuring various portraits of Mega Bloks versions of these turtle heroes and villains throwing down in the mean streets of New York. These portraits are actually a really fun inclusion, and they're compatible with the single-carded version of the Ninja Turtle minifigures from Mega Bloks, so if you wanted to switch them out, have fun rearranging to your heart's content. 
the eagle-eyed turtle fans among you may have even noticed a special piece to my diorama, a billboard featuring April O'Neil and the Channel 6 News logo. That's actually a weapon that was included in the Krang set that I personally didn't care for in weapon form. And after some quick adjustments, I was able to make it part of my diorama. Oh, and if you happen to have noticed those clear pegs sticking off the pipes in the background, well, that's so you can get your minifigure airborne and create some pretty cool action displays. Mega Bloks has really given you a lot of options. All right, Toy fans, well, that's my review of the Krang's Rampage and the Bebop and Rocksteady character packs available from Mega Bloks in 2016. Overall, all of these sets are a lot of fun. I think the Bebop and Rocksteady packs are great for army building or just general customization if you're trying to build a really cool display. Definitely pick them up. And as for the Krang's Rampage set, this is a really great way to build out your team of villains from Dimension X. Though if I'm being honest, I didn't instantly fall in love with this set like I did with the Turtles Party Wagon. It just seems like it's missing something. I can't quite place my finger on it. But you do get a couple of nice Ninja Turtle figures and that really fun pizza cart. And you know what? If you're a fan of the Turtles and you see this thing on sale, I'd say you definitely want to pick it up. Well, thanks for watching this review, Toy Fans. I hope you enjoyed it. Of the three sets we looked at today, and why don't we throw the party wagon in for good measure, which of these classic TMNT Mega Block sets have been your favorite? You guys can always keep up with me on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast, and I'll see you guys next time. Cowabunga!